So typically for like commercial sites, uh, just expect to drive. I got pretty fortunate. My drive is not really that far away from my home, but expect to drive. Uh, whenever you get on a job site, like first things first, like I know the OG plumbers are gonna tell you, uh, you're gonna get stuck cleaning fittings. Uh, I'm not the exception to this. I've been plumbing for about six months and some change. And this is the first time that I actually got to work by myself, uh, like by myself. So it hit different, you know, getting able to clean your fittings for yourself for the job that you're gonna do. Um, I recommend using a drill. I've seen people do it by hand, but if you're doing commercial, use a drill. Uh, that's my foreman explaining to, explaining to me like he wants the 90s within like the framing of like the walls. Uh, and if you're a plumber, just know that you're gonna be sanding quite a bit. This is at 6x speed, so this is absurdly fast. Uh, it's not gonna be like that in reality. Just bear in mind, this is 6x speed. Uh, and then right here, uh, my dumbass just realized that I cut two of the same exact pipe of the same exact size, so I was pretty like peed off. So I throw it down <laughs> and I throw the rest of the pipes. And then this is where I'm working, so I have to get eight inches off of like the HVAC guy's vent. So I have to be eight inches above on either side. So left, right, and up. So that's what I'm measuring right now. Band saws come in clutch so much. I can't recommend you buy one enough. Uh, and then this is me reaming. Uh, so whenever you cut a pipe for the new guys, uh, just make sure to always ream your pipes, especially after a cut. Even if you use your copper cutters, you might not need to, but just ring the pipes, it'll make your life a little easier. And then that knee pad, you're gonna see me use it all the time. Uh, I don't care if you're 21 like me, or you're 35 or 40 or pushing 60. Use a knee pad, like preserve your body. Construction takes a toll, it's physical labor, so preserve yourself where you can. And then you're gonna see me pull the marker out and mark the pipe. Because I'm new, I'm still not like too sure how much it's gonna go in or when it's completely in. So I just like to mark the distance that the 90's gonna travel inside the pipe and use the red mark as a guide so I know where it's at. This pipe right there, I dropped it and bent it. And because I bent it, it wouldn't go into the 90's anymore. So I have to discard it and use a different one. And then with pretty much all trades, like electrical, HVAC, plumbing, hangers, hangers are like the bread and butter of like everything. I tried to use a Saza, but it was like a crusty ass blade and it just wouldn't cut anything. Uh, so I had to use my bandsaw. Like I said, bandsaws are like the best tool to have. So definitely get yourself one if you have the chance. And then I'm just applying flux. This helps like the solder and like put all the pipes together. It took me quite a little bit to learn how to solder. Uh, I'm still not a pro by any means. I'm still new. Uh, I've had really great like apprentices and journeymen show me like the tricks of the trade and how to do it. Um, but it's just practice and with time. So I'm just flexing up everything, putting everything in. After like watching so many guys like do this, uh, it, it's still hard. And then that's me just soldering and getting everything done. I know my job is like not the best. Uh, I'm still learning again. I have seven months in, um, but that is actually probably some of the better solder that I've done. You can see me sweating because that flame is still hot and it is still hot inside. There's no AC, so that flame is just making everything like 10 times worse. And then 
just right here. You're gonna see me just burn myself. You'll see me just like grit my teeth. I should be wearing my leather gloves, but I'm not. Uh, so if you're starting out, definitely get used to just wearing and changing your gloves, okay? Leather gloves make it way better. And then just cleaning it off, making it look pretty. I know other people will probably won't care, but your foreman will care, and it's all about professionalism, so keep everything tidy, make everything look pretty. And then this is right towards the end. I actually ran out of battery on my camera, so this is actually close to the last bit that you'll see. I actually go vertical on this a little bit, um, but this is what my foreman was talking, telling me about. Uh, he just wanted like, the 90s within the wall, so when they put sheetrock, the 90s aren't protruding outside of the sheetrock. And then when I'm cutting this pipe, um, my bandsaw actually gets a piece of copper stuck in it, and you see me just fidget with it um, and try to get it out. But that is the end of the video. And like I said, 100%, I know I have a lot of places to improve. Um, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, just ask and I'll try to get to you. But yeah, thank you all for watching.